Debate over burkini proposal sparks controversy in French city. Okay, so um, I just a just a, a quick note. I have no idea how to pronounce anything in French, so I'm going to just massacre all of these names. Okay, so bear with me. <laughs> good, 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 okay. good. Recently, recently Grenoble, a city in the Alps region of southeastern France has moved to allow the burkini, a women's swimwear that allow, that only leaves the face, hands, and feet uncovered in public swimming pools. In the weeks before the Grenoble Council allowed to uh, voted to allow burkinis in public open air pools, the city's mayor Eric uh, Pil Piole has was met by fierce resistance after tabling the motion. Piole proposes to let people dress, quote, how they like at outdoor pools, including women, including allowing women to be topless. Most of France's public pools have strict swimwear policies, such as requiring men to wear tight fitting racing trunks instead of longer swim shorts. What? Yeah, they're not. I'll get into it later. Right wing politicians in France believe that the burkini is a form of Islamism. Laurent. While Valquez, <laughs> head of the regional uh, Avergne Rome Alps region, threatened to pull funding from the town by stating, Not a cent of regional money will finance your submission to Islamism. Are Mayor you Pioli, serious? Mayor Pioli maintains that this is merely a quote unquote feminist choice to let people swim however they feel most comfortable. What the hell is wrong with people? I mean, okay, who is this harming? I mean, other than the person wearing the bikini. Like, um, I mean, I mean, between the, okay, as ba as much as I hate the bikini, okay, because it's modesty culture, okay, mm -hmm. between mm -hmm. between um, you you know you not wearing the bikini. And not swimming, not being able to swim, and wearing the burkini and being able to go for a goddamn swim. Yeah. You know, I would rather you being able to go for a goddamn swim. I don't think this is an endorsement of the burkini, if we, or modesty culture, if we just say that, hey, you shouldn't be locked up in your house just because you can't go because of your values. Don't, you know, don't let you go swim like a, I don't want to say normal person, but like, but anyways um they, they they're gonna lose funding over this but by the way as much <laughs> as 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 ridiculous as all of this is can you go back to the men's requirement as well because i'm more offended by that like what the hell did i read that right did, so, did i hear that right men are in most french public swimming pools men are not allowed to wear shorts they have to wear like little racing trunks why and they're not even they're not they're not allowed to wear like the uv protective shirts unless you're like under the age of 10. what the hell are these french waiver okay okay so this city <laughs> is like throwing away all these rules women can be topless men can wear whatever shirts they want and you could also wear a burkini um that's great this city sounds pretty good like finally you know a good a good French city when it comes to the rules like this because the other ones sound ridiculous but can you tell me why do men have to wear like those tight like I wouldn't go swimming if I had to wear those I have no why idea did... it seems like okay, I'm gonna be honest as an American this just seems like a like a very kind of euro thing like the euro little speedos no like, no 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 requirement I think, is no, crazy yeah it's a require like it's re a requirement in france this is very authoritarian why are why is french why is france french's government telling people what to wear it's like, so weird get off like like this is so hands-on this is so nanny state like this is what you get to wear when you go swim like I understand your having business. a minimum saying like you at the minimum have to cover your genitalia. Okay. That makes sense. But to have a, like, you cannot wear more clothing. Should you feel more comfortable? That's not allowed. That's illegal. Doesn't make any sense to me. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here's the and thing. And the fact that what, they are going, no, they're going. Let, so this, I'm this making a point. A, Just one second. I'm making a point. Okay. Um, Norse mythology is also saying excellent sunscreen protection, which reminds me, which make, makes me think actually, what if you're wearing all of this because you want to protect yourself from the sun? Like, what if this is not a hijab? Can you still wear it or no? I don't know. These you maybe would have to have a medical waiver or something. It's ridiculous. This is not it harming is. anybody. Okay, but go on. What were you going to say? Um, oh, well, I forgot what I was going to say at that moment. But it, it doesn't make sense to me to have, like, you, you just can't just wear what you want. Oh, no, I remember. So they are going after this city council and because they approved it. Um, saying we're going to pull funding from your town because you're supporting Islamism. Well, at the same time, this is the same motion that allows women to swim topless. And I resent the fact that they are going after this motion, trying to take away my ability to swim topless for the sake of the fact that other people can just wear more swimwear should they desire. How, How is, is that Islamism? How is it Islamism when you say like people can wear what they want when they're swimming? How is that pro-Islamism? Are you have you lost your mind? Unbelievable. Oh my so, god. It's really funny because um the mayor of this town has basically said, like, I would love to see how th they're going to spin this. Like we're all we're he said, quote, we're just trying to make this public service like accessible to everyone. These are public pools funded by the state. We just want to make it accessible to everyone. But they are trying to say that this is a oh, wait, where was it? Um, a serious and manifestly illegal tack on fundamental freedoms. OK, what if what if I had a law? A, you know, as an authoritarian government, okay, which these people seem to be wanting, that Muslims cannot leave the house after 8 p.m., okay? They have to stay indoors after 8 p.m. No Muslims can, no Muslim can be outside, okay? And then you come along and say, that's ridiculous. We're removing that law. Am I a pro-Islamist government? Am I being pro-Islamism? If I be like, we can't have a law that says Muslims have to stay indoors after 8 p.m. Pro-Islamism. No, this is anti, go. this is not pro-Islamism. This is anti-authoritarianism. God Here, damn it. Here's, yeah. here's, here's more. In an open letter signed by Jean-Pierre uh, Barbier, I have no idea how to pronounce things. The right-wing head of the Depart Department Council and his party's elected official said, quote, the Burkini aims quite simply to impose Islamic standards at the heart of swimming and public leisure. Like, I, I guess they take it's, their swimming way more seriously than I do. Like It's removing, <laughs> forced, for it's removing forced standards. That's what they're doing. They're not introducing any standards. They're removing standards. You get to choose. You want to be topless? Be topless. You want to cover up head to toe? Well, not to toe. But all over except hands and feet and face? Then go ahead. Yeah. By the way... These women will get get a huge backlash from actual Islamists, okay? True. Because this is not okay. Islamists are like, your curves are showing. This is too tight. You can't do this. So Islamists do not support burkinis at all. Pro-Islamism. Islam yeah, you have no idea what you're talking about. Like, oh, is, is you know. Pro-Islamism. If you actually knew what you were talking about, you would know that these women actually get a major backlash for being too for wearing an outfit that is so, that shows their body um, curves. So you know, it's just so tight; it just sticks to everything. So, yeah, this is not yeah. acceptable. Other elected officials signed an open letter opposing full-body swimsuits, which they said represented quote the oppression and inferiority of women. Christoph Fiari, the left-wing former Socialist Party. Uh, head of the region opposed the plans and said that the city mayor was on an incomprehensible one man crusade. The mayor wow. sounds the most like level headed person here. He's like, 
I think that people should be allowed to wear what they want to be able to access a public utility, um, including women can even be topless. I think that this is a, a feminist thing. And because people should be allowed to wear what they want, it also means allowing people to wear more clothing. But the fact that they're going to shoot down the possibility of people being more exposed for the sake of the fact that there will be people less exposed is intolerable to them. That It doesn't make sense to me. I'm like, you're shooting down something that I think you would like approve of, on the other hand. Um, uh, something I don't remember is saying, seriously, I don't get what this controversy is all about. It seems like people just want anything to bash and have fun. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, By the way, um, maybe something I don't remember is a username. So people who are listening to the podcast version of this might be confused. Like, what the hell? Okay. So <laughs> just wanted to clarify that. And this is a hilarious comment from Murtad Skeptic saying, France in the future, you must cover every part of your body that isn't your aura and then <laughs> must leave your aura exposed to fight Islamism. <laughs> <laughs> and then Hussein responded and said, women would only cover their hands, their, their face, hands, and feet. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is a true way to fight Islam. That's good. <laughs> um, oh my god, that would look so bizarre. I know. I just the mental image is hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Wait, somebody should do an art uh, artistic piece of that woman just swimming with their face covered, their hands covered, and their feet covered. That was so bizarre. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This is okay. No, it's one, one of the center right party leaders said that the city had, quote, broken with secularism in the values of republic and engaged in a form of separatism. He said that the city mayor was doing deals with political Islam to buy votes. It's not separatism. You're doing, first of all, it is what they're doing is actual secularism because they're not, they're minding their own business. Secularism means the government minds its own business and doesn't tell people what to wear based on the religion. Okay. You being involved in that, you're the anti secular ones. But separatism, how, like, how is that you are promoting separate, you know, separation because you're making women who don't, who wouldn't be out. And this, um, if you forced them not to wear the hijab, they wouldn't be in the swimming pool. So by allowing people to wear whatever they want, they're actually being involved with the rest of society. This is like allowing that is against separation, not for separation. Okay, I don't think I don't think these people actually just are, because care. this is this is the problem with like they're taking laicite like to the extreme because the just because you are using a public utility. You are not like a representative of the government doing your job while wearing a religious symbol. That's what yeah. laicite is like supposed to be centered around. You just happen to be using a public utility and this would benefit all sorts of people. Like maybe I'm not even a Muslim. Maybe I don't want to wear a burkini, but what I'm, a, what I'm required to wear is not what I'm comfortable with. Cause I don't like to show that part of my body, or maybe I have an injury in a certain area that I want to cover. And now this new rule allows me to just wear something a little bit more. So I don't attract attention to the part of my body I'm insecure about. And now I get to swim how I like, like this would benefit tons of people besides just Muslim women. Right. Very good way of putting it actually. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.